Hello, welcome to Martinez Design Training. In this duplex session sheriff training, we are going to talk about how to create window hood surround this window using model in place. So try as much as possible what the video to the end. There's some certain trick you are going to learn here. And most important, subscribe to the channel so that every video we make be updated to you and be sent notification will be sent to you over so thanks for that now what we do here is that we start from the elevations so you click on a component on the component click from the model in place as you do that just use a casement or you search for a window so that maybe probably you will be able to be on the same family with the window so click on windows say ok so click this say window would so you do that window would so you click on that like that so now the next thing to do go to create so you are in the sketch mode now what you do here is to click on sweep and the sweep if you be asking you some certain question click on sketch part because this part you want to do so now it's telling you to pick a plane Sometimes if you know the kind of the grid line you can decide to choose the grid. but it's more easier to use a one pick plane to the word surface. So you say okay and then you begin to search wherever your your culture can be matched with the elevation that is looking like this place now. So I already select the rectangular flat surface. So click on it. So from there you'll be able to sketch around this particular window and say okay and you're okay now you click on finish then click edit so you tell you to go to east or west anyway you know that it fit for you so click on let me just open from the east so here now you have it from same position just around this place because this is where you want to get your embellishment alpha so you do here create something like arc have it there now take it to so I mark kind of lights so you can decide to follow the same suit here the same thing here same so now if you as you've done this you can just move it in maybe because it's too bogus or something so click on finish I finish it again so go back to your elevation to the south you see what you have created around the video around the window so click on this and say edit material so the edit material you can decide to create your duplicate right click and duplicate call this one say window wood so like this window would now click on that and say set edits in your editing you click on library and appearance appearance library so you usually use ceramic or you toggle it and you say click on this and say ok so escape the window and click ok again so the material is a bit a change so as you have it now, you can decide to now copy all this all around. So it's a copy from me. Click on copy this particular copy. When you are copying to the page where you are actually doing your so copy like that. So the same thing here. You put the same thing here. Uh, this space what you do is that you click on this and say edit this particular one i don't want to leave anyone undone let me put up for edit them so that we're able to carry them out easily so edit so you have seen it so this adjust this particular one to to place up with what you are doing excellent it's going to make your video look small but it's the design of equality Finish like that. So you copy this one as well for the music. 
So this one too, we copy it in that aspect. They are not there yet, but you are still going to work on it. So you copy them, you copy them. So go to your plan, if you click on plan that you want, these are the things you have put in the place. You see they are, they are distance from the from the window itself that we are working on. So you highlight like that and say move. So this way you can align it. Alright, so now to have it the shadow leave it like that because we are in the sketch mode. So you click on this and say you can mirror it. See mirror. So still done with the mirror like that. So click and align it to the window. So at this point, the one that, wherever the references are, is what you're going to use. So you click here like this and say, okay, like this. Those ones that are not elephants, really make sure you delete them. Like this. Like this one, now you delete it. This one, you accept it. This one that have small, like this, small windows, you align it. Really match to what you have done. You can centralize them. That it will look flexible and professional. You do the same thing on the round wherever you have things like that. So click here and you copy or so copy as much as possible to copy them like that. Copy and copy. So as you've done that. Here now you click, you say copy this one as well. Click from here, put at this point. So this technique of rotating, I click on this rotate and drag this point to this edge. At this place now, you click on Google of to copy because you don't want to copy this, you just want to rotate it. So you pick it. Did you see? It's perfectly match with the space. So you copy again for everywhere that you know that these statues are relevant. So you put it there. Put it there. Just like that. So here now, you mirror the same thing here. Something is missing, it's not missing, so it's what it's easy. So keep here, put, move it, take it out, and paste it somewhere here. So definitely, you have it in that part. So you do this again by copy from this part, copy again. So if there's any window at the front, you do the copy all around. So as you have done that one, now go to your 3D and go and see them all in the whole area click here so as you have it there you see the window everything all around so you clear wherever it remains this side now it remains a part of it copy and paste it there so as you've done that what you do here is 3d and in 3d now you can now highlight because you is the only window we are doing in this space. Uh, I like them. Click on keyboard, uh, click to clipboard, copy to clipboard there, and you say select because I want to transfer out everything to the next uh, floor. I don't want to be doing them one after the other. So now you click on paste on the level two, and you say okay. You see now. So that is the trick. From level one to level two, everything is aligned to the same position where you wanted it to be. So that is how you work on your window wood by using the trick I have created here. It's not my own personal trick, but that is the trick you use to copy things quick and fast. So it's to work magically. 
try to, to subscribe to our channel if you are a new sort of senior viewer on our channel and at the same time make sure that you always comment and like at the same time let us know what you are not doing right so that we behave to adjust at the right time the right point so put this in wherever they supposed to be the work the progress and the unity of the drive in the day thanks for watching we are going to embark on the next